Hello guys, welcome to the show. Today is day number three of the turbo build for my neighbor. Um, today I'm gonna try to figure out throttle pedal and I will need to take the radiator off uh, and the bottom pulley so we can make a trigger wheel out of it. Um, but yeah, let me show you the throttle pedal. I think I have it just on point. We might have to trim the carpet just a touch, but it's not gonna be too bad and it's not gonna be obvious once everything is done. So let's have a look. Sure. As you can see, the 190E has a tab over here that fits uh, the stock pedal. It goes in like this, and then you have your mechanism at the top, which makes everything pivot and stuff like that. Um, so I have removed that. And this is our throttle pedal. You can check the part number right over here. So the plan is to use that little notch at the bottom. I'm gonna make the same cut that the stock pedal has. And we're gonna put it right at the back over there, just like that. And we're gonna slide the pin from the back. Um, the other thing is this pedal has uh, a ho like a, a hole for a bolt just over here which I'm gonna make the same hole in the chassis and I'm gonna put a bolt through or I'm gonna put a rivnet on the other side and um, then everything should be like normal. It looks and it feels like a normal 190 pedal, but it's electric. So yeah, that's the plan for now. Now everything is bolted down and I think this is the finished product. Let me just whiten it out a little bit so you can see. Oh yeah, just enough space for the connector. Might actually trim that side plastic a little bit. Um, the bolt is down there as you can see. Um, come on, what's going on? There you go. The bolt is in there. Uh, I have put the bottom clip as well just so you can hold it a little bit better but yeah it's plenty strong um, and yeah I don't think it looks out of place it, we might actually be able to just bring it a touch closer like that but I might have to make another bracket at the top but for now I think it's fine so yeah on to the next bit all right I got ahead of myself a little bit but there we go I have taken the fan out You've taken the AC radiator and the coolant radiator out um, and pretty much it's the same as the M104 that we did a couple months back same sort of a pulley and I'm gonna do the same sort of a setup I'm gonna weld in a trigger wheel just on the outside edge of that pulley uh, it's a solid pulley it's not gonna be walking forward and backwards or whatever it's not it's not going to be a problem it's already tested out on the other one to be working quite well um, and at the bottom the sensor is going to be coming from the bottom it's going to be reading over here so yeah let's take measurements so we can order the pulley take a picture of the belt so we can see how it routes we don't have to google it back on or whatever um, and yeah that's that's pretty much it these ones were such a nightmare to remove had to heat them up like three times to actually get them to to pop out and the seal on that is damaged as well so still most of the times recommend to get a new one of the AC radiators because it's 30 years old there's no point trying to make it work again so yeah let's take that belt off let's take that pulley and get to work so as usual I got a little bit ahead of myself and um, I have tacked up a small trigger wheel um, which I'm hoping to do the job it's from a Fiat 500 I just cut out the ring and weld it in there uh, I made a bracket I'm gonna show you in a second as well the position that I chose and I'm just testing if I can get a trigger sink and if I can get a spark on cylinder number one so I got the spark got the spark so let me show ya so this is the setup that we are running. It's a 15, 150 millimeters trigger wheel. 
uh, it sits just outside of the pulley as you can see welded on uh, two places only for the moment I just need to get it balanced and all that stuff and then we'll choose it and then we'll weld it fully um, there's my bracket it's a couple of 90 degrees angle irons um, I chose a 90 degree so it doesn't vibrate and it's strong and I'm also gonna put uh, one bolt over there as well just haven't had the time to remove the front um, cooler pipes so I can get my drawing there but if dad gives us a crank now today we got the spark that's it so yeah now five more coils six more injectors drive by wire throttle thingy blah 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 and then we can actually hear it running yeah maybe not tonight I think I'm too tired so I'll see you soon bye bye alright so injectors all laid out over here the part of the wiring loom already is done uh, I can done the part of the wiring loom for the coils as well um, I can done the powering for the coils the ground for the coils and the ground for all the sensors pretty much actually which are sitting on the cylinder head um, now what I'm gonna do is before every branch out I'm gonna use this hard um, heat shrink which is um, laid out with glue inside so basically when you shrink it glue pops out and keeps the wiring loom nice and sturdy gives you a really good um, wire strength strength like relief sort of a thing so wires are not pulling on each other um, and also makes it relatively nicer to handle about when you pick up the wiring loom and you need to put it in the, on the engine like everything stays where it needs to stay pretty much that's what I'm saying um, so yeah we're gonna cut them in small sections and just place them uh, just before any branch out um, after that we can go ahead and put these shielding um, which opens up basically and then you put your wire inside and then that's it you can run some tape on top of it if you want to close it completely um, but this is pretty nice stuff as well makes the wiring loom look really nice also gives you a lot of protection of course but yeah let's go ahead and start doing that
and there we go all the injected plugs are done I have done the inlet air temperature plug I'm gonna do the throttle body and the coolant now uh, this is primary trigger hanging down and that is uh, cam and cam control um, but these we're gonna leave for later only the primary and the and the coolant and the throttle body and after that coils today is day number five of me working on the EFI conversion um, I already heard it running and um, only for a few seconds though and then I took the pulley off send it to my friend ads thank you ads for um, making it true uh, because I welded it on good old eyeball so it wasn't true perfect so you can see a clip of that just now um, but yeah I sent the pulley to ads and ads did an amazing job yet again um, saving my butt because I just eyeball things um, and yeah I put the pulley on cranked it start um, now I put the belt on um, I'm gonna put the fan um, fan radiator some water in it uh, just for now tap water because I'm gonna drain it anyway when I start building it into cooling piping and stuff like that um, and yeah let's have it running for a little bit longer so it can start charging its uh, battery up um, and also we can make uh, some sort of a bass tune so the car actually runs and drives uh, in the yard for loading purposes and stuff like that um, because it's it's heavy to, to, to push you know um, it's not a good it's not a good <laughs> uh, thing to do every day every single day pushing it out and in and out and in not not fun so let's put the ride and uh, yeah get it going <laughs> So yeah guys, all done, it's running nicely, it's idling on its own, um, five days, that's all it took, so if I can do it, you can do it too, get out there, make your car run, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, that's at the end of episode number two, um, episode number three, we're finishing up the wiring room and making a base map, after the base map is done, bye bye until parts come. So, thank you very much for watching, see you next time, subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below, whatever we should do next, and yeah, 
Bye-bye.